Yo, 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 what is happening, guys? It's the Don. I'm back in the video for y'all. And in today's video, I just had a few uh, thoughts on the channel that I really want to share with you guys moving forward. First and foremost, I want to preface all of what I'm about to say with a big thank you to you guys. We've been uploading consistent videos every other day, and you guys have been very consistent with the views, with the watch time, with the likes, comments, everything like that. I really can't express enough how thankful i am for you guys like i've said to you guys before this community making this you know channel work and grow is an absolute dream of mine if i could turn this into like a full-time thing that would be you know amazing like the absolute goal the top of what i'm trying to do i mean i just think that it's so great bringing everybody together having these videos we can create and watch together it just you know makes me feel so good so i really want to keep doing this now the way i see this channel is you guys run the show around here for the most part. I make the videos that you want to see. I know so far that has been a lot of tax and new content. I think definitely primarily that's what I'm trying to do is make videos for you guys that you guys will want to enjoy and want to watch and everything like that. But at the same time, I think that I can make the best videos for you guys that you're going to enjoy the most is if I'm making sure that I'm having a good time playing the game. Now lately, I think I've just been, you know, a little bit pensive about it, like getting in these lobbies, especially with skill-based matchmaking and going up against sweats most of the time. Like you guys see my lobbies. I know everybody sometimes comments and stuff that maybe my lobbies are easier than most. That is just not the case most of the time is definitely playing against the best kids that you would ever play against right now in public matches and sometimes i'll go like two three hours in a session and not drop a single nuke and right now since my channel is based pretty much only around tactical nukes i feel like oh did i just waste two or three hours and that just gets a little bit stressful feeling like i'm wasting my time on the game that's just not a feeling i want to ever you know have to deal with and lately it's just been a little bit hard to keep up with that so the point of me saying all this is just that i think that we, going forward i have a new idea a new vision for the channel and by all means this is not the end of tactical nukes on this channel but i also have a lot of other cool video ideas that i would never drop a tactical nuke on like i explained this in the gameplay today that you'll see i talked the whole time about it but there's so many other ideas and stuff like that creative things that i want to do that i think you guys are really going to enjoy but the tactical nuke would just not be a part of that so i think moving forward summarizing what i'm trying to say is that don't be surprised if you see some new video types out here let me know anything you want to see it doesn't have to be tactical nukes if you have some weird challenge idea something like that i would be totally down to try that once again i cannot thank you guys enough for all the participation and the dedication you've shown to the channel all the support it means a lot to me like i said this is my dream so you guys are helping that become a reality and i can't be more grateful to you guys in today's video i'll just real quickly go through it because you know that i'm a creature of habit i gotta show you the class setup i was using the mono suppressor grenade barrel commander grip 50 round mags and no stock on the m4 on kill house and i talked the whole time about my vision for the channel so i really appreciate you guys for taking the time to listen to me this morning or wherever you're watching it i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and don't forget that i have love for each and every one of y'all that are supporters of the channel thank you guys very much one last time for now i'm gonna get out of your hair i'll let you enjoy the gameplays i'll see you in the next video what is up guys i have been very pensive lately i've been thinking about the channel and what to do with it and how we're getting very close to a thousand subscribers and where to go from there and I think that definitely you guys have done a great job helping get, you know, friends and people into the channel and helping grow. So I thank you very much for that. But I definitely think that in order for me to sort of not burn out, you know what I'm saying? Like not get sick of playing the game all the time. We might have to take it in a slightly different direction. Not, not crazy different, but... This all only works if we're all having fun, you know, that you guys are enjoying the videos, that I can have fun playing the game so I can make good videos that you guys are going to actually want to watch, you know? And, uh, for me, like, lately especially, because the lobbies and skill base just makes it so difficult to consistently... That guy just got a quad kill with Semtex, by the way. But the lobbies and everything make it so difficult to, you know, get these nukes, right? Consistently. Oh! I'm gonna frame that in the in the video. I just think that it'd be better if I don't, you know, put everything into getting nukes every time. You know, it's just like stressful. Like, say I'm going through the day, right, and I play for a couple of hours and I don't get a nuke. Well, right now, because my channel is really based on nukes and stuff, it feels like I kind of just wasted a couple of hours. You know, and I get that feeling when I'm playing the game too, like in the middle of the session. And, you know, I just don't want to feel like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not really something you want to 
be thinking while you're playing the game. That's not going to make for a good video, like an entertaining video or anything like that. So, oh, I'm a bot. I think that I'm still going to be like, I don't know. There's no way for me to not play this game competitively, you know, and just sort of, or not competitively, like, you know, at some way competitively. Obviously, I'm not in like the CDL or something, but I'm still going to be trying hard, trying to drop lots of kills, super high kill gameplays, running intense streaks and stuff like that, but... There are other things that I want to do on Call of Duty that don't really involve just nuking people all the time, right? Like, I want to use weird guns. Like, the past few days I've been trying to get a nuke with the M16. It's like this M4 right here. Well, a little bit different than this one, but basically this M4. Except I have the burst mod on it. I have the M16 stock. I have the, you know, it looks like the M16 from Black Ops 1. And it's just nostalgic and it's fun to play with. But it's impossible to drop nukes with because the gun is literally horrible. And when lobbies like this, it's just not going to happen. So I've been spending days, hours, you know, trying to make it work and just sort of feeling like I've been wasting some time. And I also think that, like, you guys have seen me drop lots of nukes and stuff. This guy keeps shooting my body every time, too. I don't know what that's about. I haven't really done anything to him. You know, I could have called in my streaks on him already. He probably would be even less happy, but... Um, anyways, if I don't really think... If I don't really put the stress on myself, say, Oh, I have to get nukes every time, like... Maybe high kill gameplays or different sort of gameplays with weird guns. Every single time, he's shooting my body right now. Come on, get out of here, son. Call in the advance on his ass. See how he likes that. Oh, the crossbow almost killed me right there. Ah, but yeah, I think that, and this may not, like, I have so many nukes right now saved up already and videos that are fully rendered and put together with nukes and everything. Um, so it's not like this is the end of tactical nukes on this channel, but I think that I have more to offer you guys and we have more to, you know, do as a community together. So... You know, if you've seen some new content around here is basically what I'm saying. Oh, that was the worst C4 throw in my entire life. But you just might be seeing some more new content. Maybe not necessarily only tactical nukes. Spit on! So just don't be surprised if that starts coming up. You know what I'm saying? I want you guys to enjoy it. I want me to enjoy it. I think we can definitely do that. I think this is the way to go. I think I got a triple kill through a flashbang, so, yep, we did. I wonder if that's going to kill me through the roof. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, almost had him, almost had another triple kill on the same group of three. Like this, I was thinking about it the other day, like, this would be the dream, this is my dream of what I want to do, you know, with my sort of my life, I guess you could say. And I just have such a great time doing this stuff with you guys and being a part of the channel. This guy's gnarly with the crossbow. And so I definitely wanna make it, you know, more something that expands to a broader audience, something that a lot of people can enjoy. It doesn't just have to do with me sort of sitting here grinding to try and get nukes in like ultra sweat mode. You guys have seen me in ultra sweat mode plenty. There's 165 videos or something like that on my channel right now of that exact sort of status. Oh! Thought he was dead. As for this gameplay, in in sort of spirit of changing things up, I'm actually reverting back to an M4 that I don't know if you know him, but XPromvz. He is a YouTuber that basically just pub stomps. That's what he does. That's how he, that's how his channel is. And he drops nukes in Modern Warfare. He's done this in multiple games, you know, since like 2011 or something. He's been doing this, but uh, he was my inspiration for the channel originally. Like all his videos, you'll see if you know his channel well, you can probably see a lot of the parallels, like with the way this is the channel set up. Our videos are definitely not like identical by any means, but. Like, the idea is, is similar, you know, pub stomping, dropping nukes. I tend to like the videos to go a little bit, like, he's teabagging me now. As if the body shooting wasn't enough. And I haven't shot his body one time either, he's just going out right now. 
This is one of his favorite guns, his favorite builds on the M4. He just hit, he just hit marker me with the crossbow. That's pretty rare, I think. I don't remember getting many hit markers when I was using the crossbow. I also think that my my voice chat volume is or my voice chat is messed up right now. I can't hear anybody. And I think that that's like I think people have been talking to me and they just haven't working. I had this problem a while ago. Like I couldn't hear any of my party members, and then I realized I couldn't hear anybody else like on either team in the game. Ah! RBGs are coming for me. See? Got the veto. This game is almost over. It's like I feel like this game has been pretty entertaining. We've had some crazy feeds in this game, and we're not getting a nuke. At least it would be extremely surprising if we were able to to nuke here. But I mean, I've been having a good time, and you know, I think that's really an important thing. Oh my goodness, Estrella. Estrella is elite. Actually, it's a hit marker machine, but if you hit them, direct contact, they're toast. No, don't put the sentry down. No. Oh, it can reach this far. I thought it couldn't reach this far. I don't just change the cold blood and kill myself so I can use the uh, freaking. Oh, he got a credit for that kill. So I can use the advanced, you know? Oh! So yeah, I think that's the direction we're gonna take. I hope you guys are okay with that. You guys have been absolutely fantastic, you know, with the, uh, so far in the channel and everything, supporting it, helping grow it. I can't thank y'all enough. Like I said, this is a dream for me, so you guys are helping that come true, and I hope you guys are having a good time along the way.